This episode of Disruption Nation is sponsored by Jay Parr, Chris Sears Group. Enjoy. Welcome back to Disruption Nation. I'm your host, Taylor Wade Hoffer. We have Kate Myhun with us today with Jay Park Sears Group. I'll give her official introduction in a second. This is a show, podcast, platform, YouTube channel where we uh, we highlight and showcase people that are disrupting their space in a positive way. And you know, we were just talking a second ago. I was impressed with you know the way she communicates, and and she she's a disruptor for sure. You know, sure. at the mastermind, and uh, and and I'm just gonna I'm gonna start with what caught my ear. You know, because I mean, I got done running my mouth after a two hour panel, and then and she came up to the table we we're having lunch, and I'm gonna I'm gonna start and ask you about about Tanglewood, and then I'll I'll give you you know official intro here. But th- <laughs> this is good stuff. This is good stuff. This is how this is where it started. So uh, yeah, I mean, um, it's it's very important if you have. Uh, some kind of listing to know what you're going to do with it. I mm-hmm. happen to have off the market luxury listing that is occupied by a high profile individual. So I can just drop it on MLS and irritate that individual with people driving by or co- showings. Uh, we just want to bring the uh, right buyer. So at this event, there were top realtors because you go to master class if you want to, you know, improve your skill set and you want to meet the best people. So I took advantage of this, uh, you know, meeting of the top people because I knew they're top sellers in our market. And I asked some other agents too, what's the most expensive property you sold? And they were telling me 300, 400. I'm like, well, this is opportunity for you to sell the property for a few million dollars. And you know what is more even interesting? That that property, it's not shown to anybody. So you're bringing value to your client because they can see it without you. So uh, yeah, when you were having lunch, I know you had three agents at the table and I actually uh, know them uh, personally. So I show them that property that I have. It's 8,000 square foot house on the quarter acre lot and Tanglewood, Uh, we cannot put it on MLS and we don't market publicly because we want to first get vetted buyer. What I do though, I share pictures, uh, professional pictures, professional video with the agents that had worked with me or with the agents that have demonstrated skill set of selling property to luxury buyer because those agents are most probable to find that buyer and help me close on that property. And also they understand the benefits of seller financing, which the seller willing to do seller financing so they have ability and the skill set to present the property to the right audience and explain that to the right buyer because property it's a price much higher than we asking the seller understand market is challenging but only good agent can explain though those benefits to the buyer and then you know obviously procure the sale so if you're interested you know in uh, having luxury property that you can post on your social media and and you think you have capacity to find a buyer, talk to me. I uh, will check if you if you can do it and if you understand how to do it. Because again, sometimes it takes experience. $200 houses are much easier to sell than a few million dollar houses, especially if you have tenant occupied property and they require, you know, certain level of, uh, you know, privacy uh, because of that, that occupant. So uh, Tanglewood, multi-million dollar listing, ch- cheaper than the appraised value, seller financing available. If you want information, talk to me. Uh, you know, it's also on my YouTube. I love YouTube. My YouTube has all my listings, whether they're off and all the market. Uh, I love videos. I'm very grateful for being here and, you know, looking good with you in the camera. That's pretty much good privilege. Uh, and, you know, masterclass, I recommend everybody to go for networking, listening from the better, be- better. No, there is no better wars. We are all our own masters. But if you want to, you know, get to the excellence, and that's actually J. line exceeding expectations. Sometimes I exceed my own. Like this month, I'm going to close on 2.2 million. And I'm thinking, oh, my broker will be proud but then i'm proud too i have the joy of exceeding mm-hmm. my own expectation so if you want to get there you got to go there and listen what this other agents do what 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 actually caught my attention at that class sorry to like monopolize time You're but so, some people were saying 
oh, you have to be dressed, uh, you know, and hide your body when you're showing luxury property. And very, uh, very smart and very good agent Kiani, she said, no, just be yourself. And I went at the end of the class and I thank her for actually telling people to be themselves because you don't have to do things like I do. If you like to cover yourself, just show your mouth talking about the listing, it's your business. If I'm selling property with the pool, I'm going to be in the bikini. And Kiani told me she even wants jumped in the pool. I wouldn't do it because I don't have such a good hair like she does. Uh, but, you know, you do whatever you feel like doing as long as it's compliant, as long as it's entertaining, you're probably going to get that buyer and not get in trouble. It will be disruptive because some people will like it and others won't. And it's okay. The entire world doesn't have to love us. Our clients need to love us and we need to love ourselves. That's 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 the bottom line. And um, I, that was, I love it all. So... The incentive, was there one more incentive that uh, that you talked about when you first walked up to that table on Tanglewood or did you, did you hit it all? You hit um, it all. Uh, like I like mean, four, four other agents. Seller financing, four. bigger reduction, ability for you to capture the buyer because what agents don't understand, I bring you opportunity to get luxury buyer because I'm giving you images or the video and you don't have to put their address. You don't have to even reference me. I will show you how with the image you can capture that lead and then get them as your client, sign up, then get them approved, then you bring them to me. If they want information about the house, this is your way to capture that person and then get relationship to work with you. And if they get approved for less than this house, is, let's say this house is three mils and the buyer gets approved for two million, you can sell them other house. But I'm giving you beautiful pictures that will attract your right person, yeah. uh, you know, that is luxury buyer. And if you've never done it, well, don't be afraid. I can help you, especially if you're going to help me work with that sale. It's, you know, it's just... Little, the clients are usually more, uh, you know, demanding when it's more expensive property, but it doesn't differ that much. You know, just the marketing strategy and the quality of images and the videos, uh, you know, and, and, and again, dealing with the client is a little different, but everything, there is nothing a la carte. Everything is different. Every transaction is different. Every client is different and you have to just cater to who you're working with and what are you selling. Kate's a strong communicator. It shows, you know, the way that you speak. And so I, I respect that a lot about you for sure. <laughs> All right. So four languages, by the way. Okay. With Jay Parsier's group, French, Spanish, English, Polish. Yes. So, you know, you know one. So kudos, mad respect. Um, she was a professor for a year, University of San Santiago de Chile. De Chile, yes. Love it. Um, and farm and ranch. You know, she's an investor. We're going to talk a little bit about investing has done business in Corpus Christi, and we're going to talk about a little bit of the market current status, interest rates on the rise a little, pe little bit. few people are freaked out. Um, a lot of people. Let's talk about strategies because I know you talked about that, and I love strategy. I, I, I think it's important. I think that, you know, like I said a second ago, the way that you communicate, um, it, 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 it can, if it's commanding and there's confidence and there's knowledge that's backing it up, there's obviously strategy behind all of that. So, mm -hmm. you know, when you're teaching in strategy, I don't... Yes, that's what I was it, teaching, strategic marketing uh, let's go. in Spanish. Let's go. Marketing strategy in, in, in general business or, you know, real estate focus. Yeah, so uh, when, when I uh, lived in Chile, I already, like, spoke Spanish, but I had to prepare the program, and the program was based basically on my experience over 20 years because I've been always very strong in marketing. It was just different industries, healthcare, entertainment, sports. Uh, when I entered real estate industry, I started applying different strategies uh, to sell different properties. So we were talking here about, you know, cowboy sign that got me in trouble, got <laughs> disruption in my career yeah. because I was crying with all my merchandise being ready and then not able to use it. But thanks oh, to man. this, I made Chris. So it was blessing in the disguise. Now I'm with the brokerage that I love. And did I you get, get to reuse it later? So support. Did you, get, did you get to use it again later for a different listing? The sign, yes. yes. I have, I have right. right now actually farm and ranch listing in Rosharan. It's 92 acres. If you want to see this disruptive sign you have to go uh to that location it's on mls 92 acres perfect for hunting the same style sign every time now i'm going to sell a farm and ranch i'm going to use my cowboy image it works I love it. Uh, you know it <laughs> makes you think about you know having horses there hunting and that's particular sign i use for selling this type of property now when we have a luxury property we're just talking about this it's instagram youtube direct relationships with accomplished agents uh so 
every property types needs a different strategy. I have some listings also off the market because sellers have certain reason which I can disclose. So for example, I have a lot for sale in Independence Heights uh, and uh, you know, seller wants to buy a Jason lawn from his neighbor. So we cannot uh, obviously put it online because then this neighbor is not gonna sell him the lot. Uh, but this lot could fit 30 townhouses and I share it with developers or commercial brokers or title companies people that work with developers in that area so they can bring the buyer I can explain the circumstances and then uh, we can make a deal so we talk about the lots we talk about farm and ranch we talk about the luxury uh, let's talk about the commercial real estate so commercial is totally different animal than residential I'm very passionate about it I hate tables and excels but I have people that do those tables I do interpretations pitch and uh, you know underwriting for the client uh, but, and most of them are online on platforms like Craxi, CoStar, LoopNet, Lens.com, Lens of America. Depending when I'm selling, I'm choosing appropriate platform. I'm also active on Chinese platform right now. I have three listing in Colombian market. So I have to do a little research, uh, you know, where to put those listings. Those are very big farms. Uh, so if somebody's looking agricultural land in Colombia, I'm going to be there over Thanksgiving doing my marketing material. I can show those properties. Um, but I want to bring example of one property I have actually in Dallas area. So it's also very large, 99 acres and properties for mixed use development. Uh, it's off the market uh, and if somebody is interested, they can give me a call. If they give me a call or send me a message, they get entire flyer with all the mixed use allocation of the spaces zoning, uh, you know, all this Im important things when you're doing development. Uh, and again, my YouTube, you're not going to probably see it on any of the commercial platforms, but you will always see everything that I have on and off the market on my YouTube. Sometimes it doesn't have an address because I want you to call me. I want to vet you. I don't want you to talk to me or my client before I see your ability to close on that deal. If you never done mixed use development, you want to buy 99 acres, probably you're not the right buyer. And it's it's not, uh, you know, about discriminating. It's about qualifying because I want to make sure people that buy uh, you know get the results that they want if you want to do RV park for example on the property that I have in Brazoria three acres it's possible if you want to do mobile park it's possible if you want to do airport there and you tell me hey I want to buy this three acres put airport there I'm not sure if it's a good idea so I need to address that from you up front so we don't waste my time your time and the seller's time so I always imperative question in commercial real estate what is the use what do you want to do with the lot with the building what's going on so be always confident to ask questions because that way you can help your client and it's again the strategy because if they say oh I want to do the airport and you think this is not suitable well then guess what you tell them hey I can find your airport location if I can represent you you establish relationship with them and you find them airport location you know just never turn down the business because you specialize in something and if you're really not competent or confident call me I will take your listing or whatever you have there and I'll pay you a referral fee because I thought first agents are competitors and I'm like oh I'm not gonna talk when I was my first year career with us, I'm like oh it's so much competition it's not competition my first closing was agent from Woodlands Zach Zach thank you Zach actually and his company were the buyer and I'm always representing them so now most of the agents are either my buyers or my sellers very often I sell for other agents because they don't want to represent themselves on their own house because it might cause some liability they call me they say Kate I see you rock and roll I want to sell my property I just had closing like this of Gessner luxury property owner wonderful lady she was retiring she moved to Miami she didn't have time to service her transaction neither she wanted she called me I sold it we are friends now and she's referring me her clients that she no longer can assist because she's no longer practicing agent so make sure to maintain those relationships with the with the people that help you and trust you it's gold and it's pleasure to have those people around you because it makes you feel alive there you go what percentage of your business is residential versus com you know commercial farm and ranch uh this this year i think it shifted uh over 50% is commercial. I do residential too, but it's, you know, from the clients that were warm referrals, I'm not going to go farming or 
look for sellers to sell their house. If, if it's somebody referred, like this lady I just mentioned that there is retired agent, she sent me her best friend. So I have two listings right now, one in New Caney, one in Woodlands. Woodland just got under contract uh, because she's a friend. You know, I'm never going to say no uh, to any deal. In fact, I have a listing right now for 45000 in uh, east of downtown, and it's a lot. And the gentleman called me a few times, and I postponed him because I was traveling. And because he was so patient, he's like, maybe it's too small deal for you. I'm like, I will take the deal for you and never be arrogant to turn down even little deals because sure. I just sold the condo last month for my neighbor. I made only $3,000 because it was cheap condo. I have another cheap condo if somebody wants, by the way, 130 of the market. I have to throw it there because I live there so you could be my neighbor. And, uh, you know, then the same uh, neighbor bought a property. Then he referred his brother. So it was like... Uh, 700k in, in sales volume just from little tiny condo for a little bit over 100k so you know don't be arrogant i'm just going to take the million dollar listings just help people when they ask you for help because that's where we are for to provide good customer service to people that need our services and if you're overwhelmed hire people help have help to grow Investing right. Airbnbs, yes, absolutely. Oh, that's you, a good you, topic you, too. You can't, you can't do it by yourself. You know, I mean, I, I, I talk to agents all the time. Probably the thing that I hear myself saying the most, depending on the agent I'm talking to, especially at the masterminds monthly, they're always, you know, trying to figure out how to staff up and grow a team. And and a lot of the people, they're they're, they're 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 busting at the seams. And I, I'm watching, and I'm just like, God, it was like I, I'm shocked. You know, that, that you don't have that you're doing it all by yourself type of thing. I have, I yeah, have. So a, I, I know one how important. Person. Yes. <laughs> What's that? I have one person. Now. You, you got one person yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. No, I have you, one more person. You're like me. Now. I can tell you, like control freak, right? You, 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 no, you want to be in charge. That's of, that's a trick to learn. You know, to de to delegate, especially like you just mentioned, mm -hmm. investments are BNBs. On top of being agent, I'm also investors, and I think we talk about this before we went live that. For me, somebody that gives me advice, they need to have credibility. For me, credibility is like if you don't own any property, I not necessarily want to listen to your advice uh, because what, what do you know, you know? So I have been approached by the brokers that wanted to recruit me to their firm and they didn't own any real estate. I'm like, if you own nothing, where's your money going? I don't think you manage your money correctly. That's my own thinking. No judgments. Respect. Ev yeah, Makes sense. Everybody can have their own opinion. But uh, since you brought Airbnb. Don't just buy what everybody's selling. Yeah, I want to actually mention one more thing. So mm -hmm. um, one of my clients, uh, is he's my seller, but uh, he didn't want to sell the property. Then he said, I'm buying gas station. I want to sell property. So I just bought last week first house for me in the United States because before I just bought condos and everybody was criticizing HAs and blah, blah, blah. But don't listen what people say. Buy what you're comfortable with. And that's what I ask my clients. What's your comfortable investment? What do you like? So I own several condos in Galleria and I just bought the house in downtown Houston. And it was functioning as an Airbnb and short-term rental, but because I'm very busy, I don't have time to manage cleaning lady, go there to check after each reservation. So I'm looking for a long-term tenant. It's of emancipation. And again, to show strategy and creative thinking, if you are watching this, you want to be a tenant downtown and fully furnished house, three-story, I'm going to give you one one year lifetime fitness membership in a very close location to that house. Uh, so you can love the location and stay there forever. But the membership I'm going to pay you just for one year just to get you uh, accustomed with the area. So that's another example of strategy, okay? Mm -hmm. People cannot yeah. sell their houses. Bunch of people putting houses uh, on the market for, for rent. Supply is bigger than demand. Well, that's why I'm throwing you a gym membership because I want to always have the shiniest apple in the garden. I want to have the best house that so you smart. cannot pass on it. Yep. The same with the listing. Uh, my listing in Woodlands had uh, in this market had 15 showings in three days and had 11 people on Saturday open house. So if you want to sell in this market when rate is high, you need the best price per square feet. You need the best presentation, staging, best marketing, best agent and exposure. Everything, Instagram, YouTube, the same things that you're doing. But it has to be top like you don't post pictures from your phone to sell the house you have to have professional images no no i mean the basics but some people are like oh i'm just going to do quickly i'm going to list it it's going to sell go home no how are you handling any pushback if you're getting it when it comes to the interest rates 
current status. Yeah, interest rates. Well, I just mentioned I've closed on property myself uh, last week. Uh, everybody, even my friends that are lenders, they're saying, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for the for the good prices. Well, while you're waiting, inflation is still growing. <laughs> and while you're waiting, there is a bunch of sellers that are desperate and they're willing to pay your closing cost. And I can negotiate you bad as deal. That's what I did with my uh, property in downtown. Seller pay my closing cost. You know, if they're staggering to sell, probably I will negotiate for you closing costs. So even if you do the loan, well, guess what? It can be at seven, but in two years, it can be four. Uh, the value of property going to probably still be growing, although some people think it will be dropping. But, you know, take it out even when it's dropping or increasing. If you have cash flows from the tenant, who cares? Or if you live there and you're paying money for your own property, mm -hmm. then somebody else's rent, who cares? You know, because you can always sell it when the property value is higher than at the time that you bought. Uh, mine actually appraised more than I paid. I In downtown, it will be only growing, so I have no fear. But again, you need to understand and be comfortable with your decision. I never force my client. I ask them, what do you think? If they don't like something, we find them some alternative that they will like, and we still sell something. Because I love the saying, first sell, then solve. If they're ready yeah, with yeah. me, they sign all the papers, I'm going to find them something that they like. Okay, when did you get your license? Not that long ago. 2019, right? 2019, yeah. Does she sound like a, you know, a newer <laughs> agent? You know, no. So, yeah, you've covered a lot of ground quickly to have the knowledge and be able to talk about the stuff that you talk about. So, impressive. And, again, four languages, English, Spanish, Polish, and French. All the brokerages, I, I think this might have been right before we, uh, you know, had the official recording. Yeah. But you posted, you were looking for a broker. Why, why again, did you go with JPAR besides the marketing material? Yeah, so uh, since the beginning. Shout out to Chris Sears, by yes, the way. Yes, Chris Sears. Uh, so when, when I started being an agent, I started with Color Williams because I want to have fancy office, you know, and people uh, to, to receive them in uh, luxury conditions. It was close to me. And I knew Color Williams provides a lot of good training for the beginning agents. So, uh, you know, when I was taking SIPs, I'm certified international property specialist. I met Justin. He's an amazing agent and the broker, too. I met my other friend from San Antonio. I got to know many brokers that wanted me on their team because languages. 50% of Houston speaks only Spanish. 50% of my calls from signs speak only Spanish. So everybody wants multilingual to obviously get the sales. But then I was thinking, I'm like, okay, well, uh, if I have so many options, where, where do I go? And then, uh, you know, I joined the firm from San Antonio. Uh, and then, uh, you know, I, I joined Chris. But I joined him because I showed him this is how I work. This is marketing I create. I speak these languages. I want to do commercial. I'm doing right now at Rice University, uh, you know, real estate development course. So I told him I love learning. I'm doing CCIM. I mean, what do you think about all this? Will, are you going to support this? And he said yes uh, so if if somebody i see has uh, accomplished track of record which chris does if somebody can answer my questions and they're very complex i only call attorney or chris if i have a question because i there is not many other people can answer those questions so you know you obviously want somebody that knows more than you to grow and that's for me was was the was the deal maker alignment in the marketing strategy and ability to have somebody more knowledgeable and experienced than myself that I can ask questions when I have a aha moment and I'm like okay what do I do is this better or that better you know and uh, that's that's important and another thing he's very passionate about what he does which is the same like me, you know, and also has a love for dancing. He used to dance, and he, he told me, I love salsa, bachata. Chris was ballroom dancer. That's why he knows oh, cool. how to get along with any person because it, just like you're going to social dancing, you dance with everybody. The same with the market when you're real estate agent, you dance with everybody. The dance is your conversation with the client. Everybody's different. I'm very fast and very energetic. If I feel I'm too much for a certain client, I refer them to more settle agent so they can have better communication better relationship or i allow them work with uh, my licensed agent on staff viola viola by the way thank you without you i wouldn't be able to grow and uh, you know triple my my sales and everything i do uh -huh. so you know that's that's that that's the, that's the deal you know I, lo I love that you said that if you i am too i'm high energy you know I, I go fast very enthusiastic and sometimes you know you when you when you're mm -hmm. communicating that way to somebody I me mean, you can just tell when they're looking at you like 
holy shit. Yeah, yes, he, they, he, he needs to dial it back. And I'm like, no, you need to go we faster. We don't take but. drugs. We are just like that. We just, yeah. Wired. Coffee, maybe, but you know. Yeah. All right, so um, what else did I want to ask you? Uh, tell people how to get a hold of you, by the way, because you dropped so much oh. knowledge, and I appreciate that. If, if y'all want to yeah, reach out and to, holler at Kate. To, yeah, to meet in person is hard because I drive from Dallas to Corpus, from Woodlands Instagram, to Galleria. Instagram, cell phone, you know. or yeah, email, yeah, drop, yeah. Drop, drop whatever you want. Uh, so YouTube, Kate Myhan. My phone number is 713-855-0588. Phone calls only scheduled. Text me anytime. I have two Facebook, uh, personal Facebook, business Facebook. I'll give you business Facebook. Kate Victoria Myhan is the business Facebook. YouTube Kate Myhan. Uh, Instagram KWM uh, underscore Realtor. I mean, rate my agent. I'm all over the place. Just Google me and then you'll see all the platforms and you follow what you want. If you don't like it, don't follow. If you, you know, just want to meet in person, then go for the best events in town, uh, like Masterclass. I also go for sometimes for uh, Millennials After Dark events. Uh, awesome. You know, I go for commercial classes. Every opportunity to network is, is great. So just go where the like-minded people go and talk to them and try not to talk to, all the time to the same people. Get to know more people. Just expand, expand and learn and ask relevant questions to get the relevant answers. There you go. Be the value, add the value and get it. All right. So a couple questions before I wrap this up and get us out of here. What's... um. Dream vacation for you. Dream vacation? Mm -hmm. I mean, before being in real estate, I'll be honest with you, I've been uh, all over the world because I had my Airbnbs. I manage everything from the phone. And uh, I've been everywhere. So if people ask me, like, what's my dream vacation? Maybe my dream vacation is when... Uh, uh, when somebody can take care of everything, but nobody can take care of everything. So dream vacation is in a good time zone that I can still check what's going on with my clients and take care of them. Uh, so that's the trick. If you if I went to Hawaii, it was difficult. But when I went to Ibiza and there was seven hours difference, I was able to enjoy the vacation, be on top of things here. I know it doesn't sound like a vacation because I was still working, but, uh, you know, I, I don't like too much. You want to be hands off. Doesn't matter where you are as long as you're not having to like. Maybe Pay three attention. days Bora Bora could be my dream vacation if okay. I could go somewhere. I haven't been to Bora Bora because it's far. But more than three days, I just get bored. We got to get there. I want to yeah. go to some yes. of us. All right. Um, dream car. Dream car. I always wanted to have a Porsche Panamera, but I'm pretty happy with my Lexus. I'm going to drive it till it dies. I have a GSF 470 power. I love speed. So, uh, yeah. That's probably Porsche Panamera next next one. If I manage to get property with garage, because right now I have a carport. I don't want Porsche to be scratched or vandalized. But it's okay, you know. God protects you. So uh, that's a dream car, though. Okay, I'm talking yeah. too much. No, you get <laughs> what, what favorite book or the last book you read? The last book I read. Um, I don't watch TV. I don't really read book books. I uh, oh yes, very good book, very short book, and people should be reading it. Favorite book. It's called Quat uh, Cinco Acuerdos, Five Agreements. It's about how to have successful life, and everybody that is in real estate should read it because such a good book. Yeah, you know that, right? Yeah, it's a couple months ago. So I finished it. Yeah. The most important thing there is, I'm like, don't take anything personally, you know, because I was first year crying. I'm like, oh, this buyer doesn't want to sign the buyer <laughs> presentation, and I was sad and crying. It's okay, they don't want to sell. You're gonna have another buyer, you know, and and be impeccable with your word. That was uh, another another rule, you know. So that's important. I don't sign any like refer agreement, whatever. If you want me to sign I will sign with you I believe in uh you know honesty integrity and value of the world so the book is amazing it's short maybe 50 pages it's on Amazon five bucks I gifted it to many people so that's definitely something everybody should read and it's so quick that there's no excuse what's the uh, best advice you ever got and who gave it to you but best what best advice best advice somebody gave to me yeah words of wisdom Words of wisdom. I don't know. My my parents usually uh, uh, give me the the wisdom uh, wisdom uh, advice. Sure. Uh, but you know. What, like, what, what's what's something that you, you grew up hearing a lot then? Uh, from mom and or dad. From mom and dad. Yeah. I don't I don't really know what like what to bring up, but uh, you know since I'm put on spot, I think the best advice is just to be yourself. What Kenny said at the master class because. 
I'm not gonna, you know, uh, when it's called, I'm not gonna dress up. I'm going today to holiday party with one title company. I'm not gonna dress up as Santa, as, although I want to. It's cold. I'm gonna take three jackets. It's gonna be outside. I don't care, you know. Just uh, be comfortable with you. Be comfortable with what you do. If somebody tells you to do something that doesn't align with, with your vision, you know, talk to them, you know. And it's 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 also about mm-hmm. parental relationships, about the dating relationships, about business relationships just don't uh, you know be your own tree grow up your branches don't die as a tree just because you want to please some other tree you know i know it sounds weird but uh you, i hope you understand what i'm saying you know yeah. just be yourself no yeah. i'm i'm big on that cuz um there's and then and then i go i like going deeper on that as uh you know just be you know being yourself is being you and just being is just being cool in the moment when you don't have to perform to be Th- that's yourself that's actually very important too so uh i'm going to work more in that aspect next year i'm going to do first tantra workshops in houston mm-hmm. uh it's basically about improving people well-being so the key to the term tantra people think it's something about sex but it's about being present so yeah. it's a lifestyle of being present and a lot of people dwell over things happen in the past me uh, before moving to chile i was engaged there i live in the future i was planning the wedding everything and wow. it was so rigid in my thinking now yeah. especially in real estate everything can shift at 8 a.m you can have full day of appointments then they can get all canceled Damn. let the universe take care of itself like and trust it it's okay whatever happens it's okay the future be just confident about the future don't worry about the past it's already gone being and being present it's absolutely the key to healthy and happy living very true food we both live in houston okay <laughs> Favorite restaurant? What do you like? And what do you favorite, like to eat there? I have favorite restaurant, but I was like food. I'm like two days ago for disclosure, I had pizza, but okay. Uh, <laughs> so I don't go to office at all. Although we have a lot of amazing offices with J Par one in City Center, one in Katy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I find the drive time is taking away from my production time. So instead of office, I use actually Almafi restaurant. It's Italian restaurant of Westheimer. They have truffles. I'm a truffles lover. Uh, uh, so I take their buyers, sellers, you know, investors uh, for a conversation unless I'm meeting them on the site. So I either meet the client on the site or on Mafi so I can eat my stuff, get to know them and don't drive an hour to their office or my office. So it's just for efficiency purposes. And then, you know, you can have a meal and the appointment because otherwise I probably won't have a meal because I'm so excited about what I do that I forget sometimes to eat. Yeah, forget is, to eat. Is it West Hammer? Where is it? Oh, uh, almost, or, Westheimer, Westheimer and Chimnero, kind and Chimnero, of, yeah, it. Almafi, okay. yeah. It's it's close okay. where Palm, the Palm used to be, but they closed the Palm, so there, yeah. it's in that strip. There is also Chocolate Zena, so somebody doesn't want to eat, I'm Chocolate, check it out. Chocolate Zena is a good place, too, for the meeting. A lot of builders hanging out there, so I pick up some business there, too. That's awesome. Yeah. I drive by there on a daily. All right. Um, what else do I have for you? I think we're, 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 yeah. we're, oh, we're oh, about, yeah. to, about to wrap it up. I want to just add a secret sauce so people are like, what do you do? I have very simple line. All right, let's hear that. I do what I can. That's what I tell my assistant. But then what people notice, it's I answer every call. I don't have office number like, uh, you know, some other companies that are bigger and then you never get hold of the agent. It's a receptionist. I will check and they follow up with you after a week. And then your buyer has other property. Mm -hmm. Every sign of marketing I have has my mobile number. I answer every call. If I cannot talk at the moment, I schedule phone call with the people. And the other secret sauce to success is follow up. Probably only 50% of agents follow up. And then you have to have another follow up because if you don't, you lose the business. So yesterday, for example, I got a hard lead. I called immediately and by middle of the day, the buyer signed the buyer rep, sent me proof of funds in the evening, the same day I had a contract. So if you don't call within this 15 minutes, they look at other house or they're talking to other agents. So be responsive and be on your on, on top of the game because if you're waiting, you know, somebody else is getting your business. That's All what's right. happening. That's a big complaint, you know, uh, return yeah. phone calls from agents. So if you need somebody to call you back, call call Kate, okay? Yeah. Um, all right, last question, and then I'm, I'm gonna wrap this up. Uh, favorite um, musical, like band, artist, genre? What do you yeah, like? Yeah, so uh, I love dancing bachata and salsa, so that's my music for dancing. Uh, I listen a lot Maroon Five, but but this year I was at the Lady Gaga concert. 
and it was phenomenal. I love her. I was actually singing some of her songs and, and Dua Lipa. So actually, uh, J-Par uh, people know I wasn't at the award handing last time with J-Par because Dua Lipa concert was at the same time and I was waiting whole year for Dua Lipa concert and then our award ceremony was on the same day. So uh, I'm hoping for the next one, no Dua Lipa, because I'm probably going to get another award. Uh, so yeah, Dua Lipa, Lady Gaga, Maroon yeah. 5. Uh, and and Romeo Santos for bachata. I love Latin music. I really, I, I'm Latin in my heart. Full disclosure. I'm I'm just look white and Polish, but I'm Latin. Yeah, so. there you go. It's, it, it, that's what's within. All right. Well, um, thank you so much for being on the show. I appreciate it. Thank very you much. for invitation. Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, Tell people one more time how to get a hold of you. Yes, call me, text me seven one three eight five five zero five eight eight, or write to me on Facebook or, you know, follow YouTube, whatever you want to do, you'll find me. I'm omnipresent. My signs are all over town, so you will see me in Kruger, on the medical center, wherever you go, I'll be there. On the pens at the Mafi, I'm there. There Branding. There you go. If you didn't get a handful of nuggets from Kate, shame on you. But thank you so much for uh, checking out Disruption Nation. Please give us a like, subscribe, download. We're on all podcast apps, Spotify, all that good stuff. And um, we drop a show every Tuesday at 2 o'clock, and we look to see you at the next one. Take care.